There is an old tale about a beast that would plumage a village and terrorize the people every night. One day, the chief had enough and comes up with a solution. He says, Fear not, my people, I have a plan. Tomorrow we shall prepare a feast, the likes of which the beast has never seen. We shall offer it to him, satiate its hunger, and perhaps earn its peace. So they fed the beast every night, lavishly. And for a while it seemed to work. The beast devoured the offerings with approval and retreated back into the shadows. But with each passing night, the beast's hunger grew. The feast wasn't enough. It demanded more. It became more and more insatiable as the night passed, its roars echoing with increasing ferocity. The villagers, once hopeful, now watched in growing despair as they watched their resources beginning to dwindle and they could no longer sustain the beast's appetite. On the final night, the villagers stood firm against the oppressive beast, making a vow to never feed the beast. They extinguished the lamps and left nothing for the beast the following nights. The beast came, its eyes searching for the familiar glow, the enticing aroma, but it found only darkness and silence. Frustrated, it roared, clawed at the empty offerings, then unable to find its sustenance, retreated back into the shadows. Moral of the story, don't feed the beast. The beast in this analogy is a symbol of the lower self, or as it is called in Arabic as the nafs. The nafs is something every human being possesses within them. It's the thing that makes you, it's the thing within you that makes you weak. It's your lower self that tells you to, to do things in the long run are not good for you. The village in this analogy is our logical brain. The nafs is irrational and very persuasive. It's the part of ourselves we listen to and then wonder, why did we just do that? Anytime we crave something and give in to our craving, the nafs becomes stronger. Don't empower or embolden your lower self. Let me give you an example. Let's say you want to exercise daily, but you don't feel like it. Anytime you give in to your lower self, you give in to that temptation of not doing your exercises and skipping it, you're only empowering the beast and making it stronger. Don't let your lower self overpower you. Ignore it. Anytime you have thoughts of sleeping in when you know you have to work, don't let the beast win. You're in a constant battle with your nafs and every night it will come with temptations. But you must starve it until it becomes lesser and lesser. The way to starve the nafs is to acknowledge its presence. Not, I'm not saying be delusional and just completely ignore every thought you have. Acknowledge the thoughts you have. Acknowledge the thoughts that run through your mind, but don't give it your full attention. What you focus on expands. If you carry on about your day, regardless of your desires that plague you, you will soon become more in control of yourself. When you have an insatiable desire for something, remember, don't give it attention. It feeds on your attention. The food for the nafs is attention. When you give it attention, it becomes stronger. It wants you to think about it. When you think about the beast's request, you're more likely to fall into its traps and give in. Don't think about it. That's how you starve your nafs. When the nafs tells you to be weak, go eat donuts, don't exercise. Don't entertain these thoughts. Listen to what the, the, listen to the thoughts that's running in your mind, but don't comply and, and don't give your attention to it. On the other hand, oppose it even. When you don't feel like doing something productive, that's when you know you have to do it. Otherwise, you're also feeding the nafs. I leave you with this quote I read. To conquer the world, you must first conquer yourself.